Hello, leaders and innovators. We've got an update for you on the ChatGPT Maturity Matrix, which is Connect Digital's framework, which shows stepping stones as you go from one-to-one -one usage of ChatGPT all the way through to a custom platform. And we've updated this. It's available from knkt.com.au from the Connect Digital website. Feel free to use it in your strategy discussions and management meetings as you, as you map out your journey to AI maturity. As you can see from the matrix, it's based on security and complexity and GPT for Teams, Chat GPT for Teams is a recently released workspace by OpenAI that lets you manage Chat GPT access and the tools that your team uses. So it's a really neat addition to the matrix that I'd recommend you check out. Have a look at the website and explore it. And I just want to run you through where this sits in the matrix. Now the matrix has got these, this logical progression as you become more familiar with ChatGPT and as your team is more comfortable using it, you can then scale up and put some guardrails around its usage. The first step, is prompt libraries where you give your team uh, some pre-built templates and prompts to use but very quickly you'll outgrow that and as you move into custom gpts which solve specific problems within your business uh, you'll notice that there's some gaps that make it difficult to put guardrails on those gpts but GPT for team solves that and you've now got the ability to manage access to a private version of those custom GPTs or custom instructions that are based on chat GPT that solve specific problems. So think of GPT for teams as having your own sort of private custom GPT store and you can restrict access to those pre-built commands and it can use data and information that you have in your business without sharing it. There's a bit of a gap here to make you aware of, and that's with privacy and PII, personally identifiable information. There's a gap there that, that we believe still exists, and it means that your team can still send sensitive information without knowing it. And to solve that specific problem, we recommend uh, talking to us, and we can help you understand the options that are available when it comes to uh, you know, privacy-focused chat GPT interactions. But GPT for Teams really gives you that next step before you move into more complex, more costly, but ultimately more secure approaches. It's a great way to really understand how you can move from experimental usage up through the matrix and make your way to an enterprise solution and it gives you the tools that you need to be able to manage those. So download the matrix from knkt.com.au. This is OpenAI's website. You can see here there's G chat GPT for Teams and the advanced tools that it give you, gives you. So essentially you can give your team access to the latest models and image generation and generative AI tools that OpenAI offers and allows you to share that across your workspace. It's US $25 a month. It means that you need to set it up and ma maintain it. Uh, but the, the advantages of going to this next step are there. We have a look at the GPT store, which is public GPTs that are available for you to use. And Chat GPT for Teams is a private version of what you're seeing here. So it, it's restricted in its use and access to those GPTs that are your IP that you've developed. So I'd love to talk to you about what you're doing with ChatGPT and custom GPTs. And please connect if you need a guiding hand as you advance through your AI maturity journey. Thanks. Connect soon.